Okay, Porter, this is your last nap in your crib. After this, we're gonna move all your books and all your clothes and all your stuff, your sign, your blankies, your pillow. We're gonna move it all into the bunk bedroom. Cause who bed, whose bed is this? Baby sisters, so we need to move you out into your new bed. I want to move you out. Yep, after nap time, we're going to do one last nap in your crib. Okay? Okay, let's lay down. La, 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 la. You're silly. Lay down, please. Making clicking sounds. So yes, I'm about to put Porter down for a nap, but once he wakes up, I've decided this weekend is the weekend to do it. I think at most we have this weekend and maybe one more weekend before the baby comes. So I wanna move him out before the baby comes. When I was pregnant with Porter, we didn't move Grayson until after Porter was born, but this time I just kinda want to set up the nursery and I think with the different genders, like it's kind of throwing me off too. And I want access to the rocking chair at night if I need it for the baby. So we're moving Porter. Hopefully he does well with the transition. He didn't the first time we tried it, but I didn't really try that hard. This time I'm like set in my mind, like he is moving to the big boy bed. So we'll see how it goes, but I will vlog as we move things over. But for now you're going to take a nap, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, can you give baby sister a hug? Aww, can you give her a kiss? Aww, thank you, she loves that. All right, lay down. Okay, bye-bye. No, the baby's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always have to take him out like I'm leaving. Otherwise, he won't lay down. Okay, and he's got two blankies, huh? It's hard to do with one hand. One <laughs> blankie. Is this silly? <laughs> and two blankies. Okay, there you go. Oh, there you are. Okay, good night, Porter. I love you. Milk I'll see you when you wake water. up. Milk and water, okay. Not, well, not water, just milk. Oh, not water, just milk. Okay, I will go get it. Good night, I love you. See you when you wake up. Yes, buddy. No, no, no water, just milk. No water, just milk. Okay. Good but, night. But, but. I want to go in here. I want to go in here. <laughs> okay, so update. <laughs> Anthony has been helping me today, and we've got most of the crib set up. We raised the mattress. I put in the mobile. I got the blanket, another blanket on the chair. It's looking very girly. Finally getting things off this changing table. This is trash. And then these go downstairs. Breast milk bags, vitamin D, all that good stuff. <laughs> um, we've got diapers, wipes, lots of diapers. I hope I have enough newborn diapers. I guess we could always run and get more. So all of this is looking really good. We've got all of her clothes hung up. I need to do her baby book. These are my stockpile of diapers I've been slowly accruing. And look up there. Yep, and then these are her bows that we're gonna put on her. So we got all that good to go. What do you guys think? Is it ready for the baby? I was saying to Anthony, this is so fancy. Our old one, which I actually have. Oh, I put it away. Our old one, mobile, you had to twist it. And then it would only go on for so long. This one is battery operated. So you just push a play button and it'll play for as long as you want. Wow, what I wouldn't give for to have that when I have Porter. Because I remember I would like go bathe Grayson. I would put Porter in the crib and I would just wind it over and over and over again. Otherwise, he would get mad every time it stopped. So anyway, it's going really good. It's got a little bed skirt and very pink. 
We need to get a name sign to go above. Oh. We've got a pink lamp. More wipes. She obviously needs some books. I need to clean that up. But yeah, this is all actually looking really good. We need to hang this up. This um, is a painting. It used to be in my room when I was a little girl. So I need to hang it up. It's just pink, very girly. So I think we're feeling good about this. We've got a cute little rug on the floor. So anyway, the boys are fighting over the mobile. Yeah, that's going to be fun. But aren't these cute little puffs? Like these palms, so cute. Super cute. We used to have a blue one and it had bears. So it's definitely more girly. I'm hoping she's still a girl when she comes out because we are all girl. It'll be really bad if it's a boy. <laughs> okay, Porter's ready to go night night in his new room. We've got his blankies, his pillow, we have his name sign, I put his stuffed animals and his books all there, his sound machine, the camera, his vehicles, and then this used to have baby girl's clothes and now it's got Porter's clothes, all ready to go. Are you going to sleep in your new room tonight? You be good boy, okay? Yeah. Don't forget that gold key Okay, I'll get it from Gray Gray's room, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Mama. Yeah? Not mine. Give milk. Okay, I'll get you milk. Lay down. Good night. I love you. See you in the morning. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, there's a monster? It's a friendly monster. Oh, a friendly monster. <laughs> Porter, say hi. What? That's where we started. Yeah. Time to go. Okay. Grayson's pretending we're at Disney World. How about the people mover? Porter's favorite is the people mover. He likes to pretend we're on the people mover. Porter, did you sleep in your big boy bed last night? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you love it? Wow. It's the next morning, and Porter survived a whole night in his big boy bed. Yeah. He got up once at about 3 a.m. and was sad, and I went in there, and he said, I need something. He just wasn't sure what, so I laid with him for a couple of I minutes. I need something. Like, and whoa, he was just chatting away like it was, like, midday instead of 3 a.m. in the morning. But then I left him, and he cried a little, and I went back in there, and I said, no crying, and... Then he went back to sleep. And then when I opened the door this morning to go and get him, he was just sitting on the floor in his room reading a book. So I think he's going to come to like the freedom that comes with not being in the crib. So I feel really good about it. I did not sleep good at all last night. I was like nervous that Porter was like going to get hurt. Because he's like got freedom now. And I kept feeling like I, like I hurt him. Like, walking around or crying and could not sleep. Like, I, I think I got maybe two to three hours of sleep last night. I'm so tired. It doesn't help that I have, like, pregnancy insomnia. I can't turn my brain off. So today's going to be really rough. Thankfully, we really don't have anything going on. We're babysitting my parents' dog, but they're coming to get her today. I don't know when. And then... The rest of the day, we're just watching, like, March Madness basketball games, and then we're going to continue working on the rooms. I got most of Porter's stuff into his room. This is our setup right now. So we've got the swing, the baby swing, which both of my kids hated the swing. But this little portion right here, the rocker comes off of it, and it's just a rocker, and they love the rocker. So we'll see what baby girl likes. And then this is my pack and play. I don't know if you can see, but I have a little thing here that holds the mat up. So it's really like a diaper changing station. So I've already got like a nose sucker and 
like some lotion. I need to like put some diaper cream on there and maybe some diapers and like kind of get that ready. I need to like wash all the clothes. What? Just like little things here and there, but it's like a good like easy menial task for me to do today to like keep me busy. I hate being like bored and lazy on the weekends. Although that's like Anthony's favorite thing to do on the weekend is to do nothing. I am the complete opposite. So I'll keep you updated like on how baby girl's room is. I say eight. What are you doing? I say eight. We'll pretend you will be a character from the movie. Oh, what character are you? I, I'm good. Oh, I just moving. Why is it that when you have blankets out? The kids always play with them, and they always end up not in the living room. They end up in the kitchen. Last night I found one upstairs in the hallway. I find them everywhere. They never stay in the living room. What are you turning into? Moana. Oh, Moana. You're turning into Maui? Yeah. I tried to get the kids to watch a Disney movie this morning, and they would not agree on a movie. Porter wanted Moana, and Grisha wanted Frozen, so we decided not to watch a movie. And just did YouTube instead, so maybe another day we'll try it. Because I really want to show them all the Disney movies. They're super into the music right now. And so I'd love to, like, connect that to the movie, but they just never seem to want to. I don't know. It's the strangest thing.